Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next nail of the day video and this is the design that I created and um, it's sort of a fail because one of the colors didn't, you can't see it over top of the orange, the yellow doesn't stamp well. So it doesn't look like there's anything over the orange nails, unfortunately. Well, you can see it a little bit better on that hand. I don't know why. It's almost like there's nothing there. Like, I almost had to second guess myself and be like, did I forget to stamp this hand? But it's there. More visible for some reason on the left. But anyway, so let me go ahead and tell you the items that you're going to need to do your stamping. Okay, in order to get started with your stamping, there are a few items that you are going to need. You are going to need your stamper, your scraper, and I'm just using an old gift card. You're going to need your cotton ball saturated in pure acetone, and this tool that I am using is called a cotton claw, and I get it from Sally Beauty Supply. And then you're also going to need your image plate and also your stamping polish. You can use regular polish or you can use polish specifically made for stamping. And then um, I am gonna be, this item is not required, optional. I am using the lint roller to clean off the remaining stamped image off of my um, image plate, oh, sorry, my stamper. Um, you can use acetone, which is what I generally use, but um, acetone wears down the surface of your stamper, so this does not, you know, bother your stamping surface at all, and it's pretty quick, and you go through less acetone that way, so I will be using a lint roller. Um, can you turn the volume down, sir? Thank you. And now for the items that I use to complete the look. So I'm still starting off on my base coat and I'm still using the Julep Oxygen Smoothing Base Coat, which I'm actually really uh, do like. I am um, that much through it. I can't, next time I take my polish off, I'm gonna have to kind of um, inspect my nails a little bit more closely so I'm about almost halfway as of now so I do like it like how it applies like the matte finish and then for my um, base colors I unfortunately do not know the names of these they came in a um, four piece kit that I got from Burlington Coat Factor I believe and this is um, in the Poptastic collection so I'm just using the color club um, like neon orange and then a yellow again sorry I don't have the name if I find it I'll put it in a description bar down in the description box so those are the two colors that I use for my base colors and I went back to using my Dory mirror coat um, top coat because um, in my last nail of the day when I used the Oxygen Performance Top Coat, I was noticing that it feels, almost seems like it's um, it's running really low because I was having to tilt it to get polish and a polish on the brush. So I was trying to hurry up and get my nails done today. So I wanted to just go ahead and use this. So I used this as my top coat before my stamping. And then um, for my stamping colors, <laughs> oddly enough, neither of these have names either. They have, ooh, numbers so this is the bundle monster stamping polish and the yellow is number 15 and unfortunately does not really show up over the orange and then this is the orange bundle monster stamping polish and this one is number 12 uh, obviously this one shows up perfectly fine over the yellow and then for my final top coat i went back to using my IBD UV top coat cure for three minutes under my 42 watt UV lamp because I feel like I'm I just didn't want to deal with trying to get enough polish out and do it quickly and evenly so went back to that and then lastly I'm using my infinity nails plates by Dashika Beauty Shop and this one is 
plate number 23. Sorry, I didn't do the cleanup of my plate. So it's number 23. And the images that I used are these two were used on my left and then these two on my right. This is a cut out from this design and unfortunately because the color the yellow polish didn't isn't visible over the orange you can't see the actual effect of how it looks next to each other um, so yeah so not too thrilled with that because I do really really like the way the images um, are so again, the images on the right you would stamp on your left hand and the ones on the left you would stamp on your right if you want it to flow in the right direction or the way I like for it to flow. So one image is going that way and the other is going that way so they're not all going the same way on um, both hands. So that is everything that I use to achieve this manicure and then just an FYI. I'm trying out a different sample of foundation today and this is the Smashbox liquid halo and this one's in a color number eight so I think I like this one a little bit better in terms of color match I am shiny but mm. so and then for my lip color I'm using my um, like favorite this is number 940 touchable taupe I've, as you can see, I've used this bad boy to death. And then um, the Color Elixir in Charming Cocoa number 125 is what I topped it with. So, we just... So that is what that looks like. Oh, and I am, don't know if you can see it, but I am wearing the Julep Blush. Um, so, and I actually really like it. I don't know if how well you can see it, but that's it. So, thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times. Leave your comments below, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.